How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on this Tama Superstar Hyperdrive Duo 5-piece shell pack. Tama has been making their superstar line of drums for a while now, and this 2018 version is super cool. It has lots of great tonal options, it looks great, it's so much fun to play, and it has a lot of pro features too. So let's get into all those details right now. Hyperdrive stands for the depth of the toms. Shallow toms are really cool for a number of reasons. You get nice punchy tone out of shallow toms when the depth is not so deep, and you can also set the toms lower in your kit, which is fun just to you know, you could sit over the top, people can see you while you play, which is a good thing. So on this Superstar kit, you have a 10 by six and a half, a 12 by seven. The floor tom over here on my right is 16 by 14, and what makes this Hyperdrive Duo special is that duo name. It's because of this drum over here on my left. This is a floor tom slash snare drum. It's 14 by 10 inches deep, and has snare wires on the bottom plus floor tom legs. So, I have it set up over here on my left. A lot of guys these days are using it as their first floor tom all over here on their right. You can set up wherever you feel comfortable. Over here, I like it on my left so I can use my left hand as my snare hand still. It has a really cool tone. So let's get into the sound of all the drums right now. Let's start with the rack toms and the floor tom. Snare wires off, of course. Here we go. The shells on this Superstar kit are made from 100% maple, and the toms are six plies, five millimeters thick. Great punchy tone. I have very simple Evans G1 single ply heads on here. If you put double ply heads, Emperors, G2s, Response 2s from Aquarian, anything like that will really warm up this kit and give it even a fatter tone. But with single ply heads, they sound great. I'm gonna go over here to this side tom over here. Now, it has a snare drum head on it right now. It's got an Evans Power Center reverse dot coated head, so it's gonna have a thicker sound. If you want, you could totally put the clear single ply head and have it have a normal sort of floor tom sound, but this way it's great. So here we go, without the snare wires on. So that coated head is giving it a little bit less attack because it's more like a snare drum head. It is a snare drum head. Now let me play them all together, it's still without the snare wires on so you can hear the difference between the regular sort of regular toms and this duo tom over here. You're still getting your tonal balance from high to low. Really nice punchy sound. Let's put the snare wires on and do the same thing. Really good balance between the tone interval from high to low. Now, let's do what makes this drum kit special. Turn the snare wires on, play it for you. What's really cool is that you instantly have that sort of 70s deep thuddy snare drum sound. It's fat. You can loosen up the snare wires and have it even more sort of slinky, perfect for R&B, gospel, funk music. It's really cool and it couples really well with your main snare. 
Since this is a shell pack, it doesn't come with a snare. You've heard me say that many times. So I've coupled this kit with Kenny Aronoff's signature steel snare drum, 5x14, has a really high pitched crack to it. So the two snare sounds really go great together. Okay, let's get into the kick drum now. It is a 22 by 16. Really fat sounding kick drum. Feels really good under my foot. Here we go, snare wires off. Big, fat, punchy kick drum sound. I have an Evans EMAD kick drum head on the batter side over here. And they have a really gorgeous looking front resonant head that comes with this kit. It has a nice sort of texture on the, on the head itself, but it also has a piece of mylar that goes, goes around the outside of the head. So you get a little bit of dampening from that. The EMAD gives the head some dampening and you get a big fat punchy tone. Let's turn the snare wires on and do it again. Big, fat kick drum sound, and it has a lot of low end, especially from my side, the player side, which is always good to hear. Let's put it all together. Now let's get into the hardware and the finish on this drum kit. Again, like I said, lots of pro features. And let's start with the hoops, die cast hoops on all of the drums. Die cast is great for a number of things. It really adds to the resonance of your drums. It, it makes the tuning actually a little bit easier. They're a little bit heavier than your typical triple flanged hoop. And with the black nickel finish, they look great as well. The mounting system on the rack toms is really nice. It's their star cast mounting system, and it's the same system that they have on their star classic drums. The toms hang freely, really give good resonance to the sound of the drum, and you know it's attached by these rubber grommets right here, not with the lugs themselves. So you can see it goes around the lug right here. It attaches very simply. It's easy to change heads. It's a really nice system. And again, with that black nickel finish, it looks great. The kick drum spurs on this kit are very cool. Now, spurs are really important to me and should be to any drummer because you know you really want your kick drum to stay in place, not move at all, and good spurs do that job. And every company has their own take on spurs, of course. Thomas' version here on this kit is super cool because the rod actually comes in and out, so you can set the height of the front of your kick drum really easily. And uh, it gets out of the way and it's really sturdy. So it's just a nice take on a kick drum spur design. Again, in that black nickel finish and it looks great. Let's quickly talk about the lugs on these drums. It looks like they're attached the whole length of the drum shell, right? But there really is an air gap between the top and bottom of each lug. Again, for resonance, but also for a really good visual feature. They attach the shell on the inside in just two points. They're low mass actually, and just have a very cool look, like I said. Let me show you the features of this Duo Tom snare drum. It has a simple throw-off system and strainer right down here. You loosen and tighten up the snare wires right there. Again, a typical strainer, but easy to use also in the black nickel finish, so it looks great and matches everything else. Another nice visual feature on this drum kit is the badge. It's got a really cool look. It says Tama Superstar Hyperdrive on it, and also mentions that it's the 100% maple shell. Nice visual feature. 
And finally, let's get into the finish on this drum kit. Satin silver, really nice matte finish, and it also has this vertical stripe that comes on the drums. Cool sort of race car looking feature on the drum kit. Put that together with the black nickel hardware and you get a very cool looking drum kit that will look great on any stage. And uh, it's just really nice. This drum kit also comes in a four piece shell pack. So you can get a 12 inch rack tom and a 20 inch kick drum if you like. And there are other colors as well. But this silver is super cool. As with all my videos, I encourage you to check out the text below the video. There you'll have links to all of the other gear I'm using in the video, the recording gear, these great DPA microphones, the Minel cymbals, the drum heads, the sticks, everything I'm using here. Go directly to their product pages and check out their gear if you like. There you have it everybody, the Tama Superstar Hyperdrive Duo 5-piece shell pack. Looks great, sounds great, so much fun to play. You get the Duo Tom snare drum to add to your arsenal. Lots of great sounds fits all kinds of styles of music. You'll have a lot of fun playing this drum kit. If you want any more information about this Tama product or any other Tama product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.